Peace, brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel. After a couple of very hard, difficult weeks, we are back here live streaming for you guys from Brazil in order for you to see what we have been seeing, the patterns that are leading us towards the rapture of the church. Right now, at this moment, we are in the month of Adar. The month that is the 12th Hebrew month, the 12th, the last month of the year for the Bible, and then a couple or a couple, uh, some few days, we're gonna achieve here the solar eclipse is gonna cross America. That's going to be the last day of Adar, and the day after is the month of Nisan, the month where the year changes for the Bible. The month that the month of Passover. However, before we reach the month of Nisan, we are seeing the last day of the month of Adar, and this month of Adar started gloriously. It started with a major alignment of all of the planets in the skies, with a menorah being right in the beginning of the month, showing the seven spirits of God, the seven churches. Between the month of Adar, we saw a small lunar eclipse that was the first appearing. We were expecting the rapture of the church, which it didn't happen. That's why we're still here. But we can see that it will end with the New Year's Eve, a total solar eclipse that everybody's talking about across America from left, right, make an max. Everybody's talking about that. Everybody has been talking about this coming solar eclipse in America of a, as a sign of judgment. We agreed with this sign of judgment and things like the glorious and the dreadful day of the Lord is approaching. Glorious because it's showing major signs in the skies, also showing a sign of judgment coming. So before we just begin this, I'm going to show you my previous videos. So this is the, the music that I always play here on the beginning of my live streams because I just love it. It is from this Emmanuel S. Music Revelation song. 7 minutes, 30 seconds long. I highly encourage you guys to reach his channel here and place. Amazing. Always use this here to meditate and also to start the live streams here. But here is my channel, and I've been away for a couple weeks. By the end of this video, you guys are going to know why. But you have been watching here for the past month or so, even before the, the summer, for this month of Adar, the month of Esther, the month of Purim. We're expecting the rapture to happen within this month of Purim here because we have been seeing major patterns here pointing towards it. So major patterns pointing towards Esther with identical solar and lunar eclipses, asteroid called Esther crowning the Virgo. We have seen many people here sticking together, pointing to the month of Adar, pointing to the month of Esther, in which we are right now, last days. So if you haven't yet, Watch the videos here for you guys to understand where we are, where have we been watching the signs, how this close a very strong chapter here in the Vodar, which indicate for us a judgment. And we know that we are going to escape judgment that is coming here in the world. And we know this judgment to be the tribulation. Jacob's trouble, which is seven years of tribulation, which I believe, and you guys all probably believe, starts in the fall this year because of the UN creating here Pact for the Future. They did a Pact for the Future, which they will sign on September 23rd and 24th, year 2024. We believe that's most likely the Pact of Daniel 9 27. The Bible states. That the Antichrist will make covenant with many, many nations, seven years. 
to the UN making this likely it's the the new 927 peace agreement now let's go back here to the slides the Adar month which started glorious it might be a dreadful ending and that's precisely what we have been expecting great terrible day of the Lord We're gonna be taken out of this world while the world will be terrible dreadful judgment and I have you shown you guys this slide here, my previous videos, which you were watching here. And if you guys see here, my highest watch time for Peering, the 21st from 5th of March this year. That was my highest watch time because of several reasons that we have been explaining for the past uh, couple months of a lot of versions to it. However, have been gone through this and now we are already in April. So this 180 days here that was leading from Peering 2, seven years that was leading the pact of the future, seven years pact, that passed. So we are now tiny tiny time frame here that started in April will start Nissan one day after the solar eclipse, the last solar eclipse before the 2024 for the Bible, here changes for the Bible right on the Nissan. And then this is a tiny moment here until Passover here. It's just a tiny bit of time that we have been to being here to watch for the possibility of the rapture of the church that leads us up to Passover this year that starts 22nd of April all the way until the 26th or 27th of April. That's the two dates for Passover. The one that we just got through, which is what's called Easter. That's not Passover. That's completely off. Not in a full moon. Not a correct constellation. It is all completely wrong. The Catholic Easter has nothing to do with the true Passover. This Passover here, very important as well because that's going to be 153 days or church numbers of days when seven years packed. And the month of Madar, which starts, ends here on uh, the blue line here, the month of Nisan, the month of Madar, which will end by the 8th of April, that's a very important month because Adar means glorious. So let me show you guys here. If you check on the Bible Hub app, we can see the following here. You can see Titus 2.13, which says the following. As we await the blessed hope, glorious appearance of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. That's precisely what we have been expecting to happen. And it didn't happen on Purim, but... If it didn't happen, it doesn't mean it won't happen. Actually, we are very close to it because we have been watching for the past seven years and it's a major convergence towards this year that we are right now. So we have been waiting for this blessed hope and the glorious appearance of God and Savior Jesus Christ. The word here, glorious, written in Greek, called doxa, doxa, honor, glory, divine quality here and glory glorious the appearance of jesus christ and who knows in hebrew the word for adar also means glorious so you can see here adar the 12th month in the jewish calendar the final days of this month of adar go back here same adar 12th month of the jewish calendar you can see here very interesting it is mentioned Esther so it's first on of Esther month of Adar that's why it's so important the month of Adar it's the month of Esther but if you return here you can see here Adar means wide great or glorious majestic and see oh lord it's majestic it's Adar in power 
the law great and Adar glorious. So the month of Adar associated with Esther, also associated with uh, the 12th month, the last month of the calendar, it is also glorious. Same glorious appearance that we have been expecting. So it's very important days here for us to pay attention this month. The month before the New Year's Eve for the Bible. And we know that when we have this change in the calendar, when we change from Adar to Nisan, it's similar to what should happen to us when we change from December to January. Because there's always a feast, let's put it that way, of the change of the year, the, the season. And we know that when the calendars change, there's also a trumpet sound. So when we hear the solar eclipse, the following day, the trumpet sounds to announce the first day of the month of Nisan, right after it has come. So very interesting that Adar also means glorious here. And we have been here a pattern that leads towards this because as soon as we enter Nisan, <coughs> we enter here the beginning of the spring for the Bible. It's the beginning of the summer for the Bible. We know the summer is the tip this gave us in order for us to expect the rapture of the church. And I'm not sure if it's going to happen by the eclipse, on the eclipse, or days after the eclipse. But I know that Passover this month, this year, right, 22nd of April to the 27th of April, that's going to be very, very strong for us because it's the first feast after the eclipse, the first feast that it is already related to a resurrection, already related to it's the feast that God told us that he was going to drink the fruit of the vine with us on this on the Passover. So we can expect the Passover this year very strong if it doesn't happen by the solar eclipse or a few days short after. Passover will be very, very strong, especially because it is 153 days, the pact for the future, 153 the number of the church fishes that are caught. So, so it is very, very important for us to hear these days of the possibility here for the rapture. If we take a look here on the sky clock, on the sky clock, we see that this when the sun was pointing the constellation of Pisces and the full moon was pointing here the constellation of Virgo, that's when we were expecting the rapture because that was peering. And after this, after this alignment here, we are seeing slowly they coming together until they point both the constellation of Aries here or the, the, the end of the constellation of Pisces, which will be the last day of Adar, last day of Pisces, that's when the solar eclipse will happen. The solar eclipse here will be a major close of this month of Pisces in order for us to start the month of Aries, the month of Nisan. And if you take a look where all the planets are when the eclipse happens, they're all like this. So Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, Mars, Pluto, they are all one side of constellations still. They are here watching this story being unfold. It's slower than we were taught because it didn't happen on Peering here, but they are all still here waiting for this story to unfold. And this small area here, of the beginning end date of Adar and the beginning of Nisan all the way into the middle here when the full moon appears again that's a very very strong 
watch time for us because pointing the two major constellations, Pisces and Aries, so the church and the lamb, while the moon pointing Virgo and Libra, which is chaos, the judgment. So those constellations are very important and they are being pointed by the sun, moon, and stars here and all the planets at this time frame here that we're going to go through starting on the eclipse all the way until Passover, the full moon. And if we look here at the chart that I made for you guys a long time ago, we are this little lamb going through here, end of the 12th month, starting here to approach the first month, the month of the lamb, which is the month of Passover, the month of the resurrection that happened, and the beginning here of this whole area of the summertime for Israel, and also the beginning of the springtime, leads to summer, it's a very important time frame harvesting. So if it hasn't been harvested yet, because it was still winter, now we expect a harvest to happen anytime enter here the first month or even before the first month here, last days of Adar, it's a very, very important harvest can take place anytime between now and here, the end of the summer. But as we know, we tend to believe the church could be sweet, ghost, tough process. However, barley also applied to the church because barley can, without need, go to a tough process. Just the wind is enough to barley. Barley could just as well. That's why it's very important the beginning of spring, summertime. And that's exactly what we're seeing. And on the news, we see the same situation here being very important because alongside all of this that is happening, we see that there's a comet called 12P Palm Brooks. It will approach Earth on 2024. And this, for some reason, it's called the Devil's Comet. This comet will be visible by the solar eclipse as well. So, this dreadful ending with the solar eclipse finishing up the month of Adar, the month of Glorious, that started gloriously with this solar, this total planet alignment, is ending with Devil's Comet and a sign of judgment. And I, I didn't pay too much attention when people talked about this, but as I was watching the Stellarium, I saw it. It was very clear that it's right in the constellation of Aries when this comet appears. I'm going to show you guys here very quickly. Here we have Stellarium. Open this up. Here. All the planets, they are aligning here. Put the date in real time. Go up to the date of the solar eclipse here. Focus on the moon. Going back a few hours here. See the solar eclipse happening in the constellation of Pisces, the end of the constellation of Pisces. Then the sun will keep on ending the of Pisces and the, the new moon will be sighted here in Aries. You can see here 12 P Pons Brooks. So this one here, it is the Devil's Comet. So Devil's comment is this one right here, being seen here, right in the constellation of Aries. So this, the Devil's comment, right in the constellation of Nisan. Very interesting. Wasn't paying attention to this, but as I saw all of this alignment, I saw that this comet is very visible. Guys, right in the beginning. End of Adar, so a dreadful ending, the beginning of the month of Nisan. So very interesting, this is happening simultaneously with the end of Adar and the beginning of Nisan. What does this mean for us? Could it mean that the devil is being cast out to the earth as we go up? That's a possibility. 
which I will believe because you're seeing here a pattern of judgment coming to earth that truly shows us that the, the church has to leave very, very soon. Now, if we pay attention to Israel right now, we have the following here. On Israel 365 News is the first uh, cover here. Scroll down a little bit and they showed us this. Osher Cohen found Temple Institute certifies Cohen to perform red heifer ceremony. So they are ready to sacrifice the red heifer. I thought they were, they were going to do on the Shabbat of the red heifer. Apparently they didn't do it yet, but they have, have up to the Passover scenario to do it. And they are telling us on their website that they found it and they are ready to perform this ceremony. This is very strong for us because it is the 10th red heifer that they are going to sacrifice in order to purify the high priest for temple institutes for, in order for them to build the third temple. So this is a very strong prophecy that they will do most likely this year because otherwise it will be too late for them to perform this have to wait for another one don't have time for that so this year is the year of the red heifer and this year has got to be the year that they will at least try to rebuild their temple and i believe that as soon as the church leaves this earth most likely they will be allowed to do this because not only is on the prophecies but also that's going to bring a chaos to the world where the world will allow uh, the Jews to try to reconnect to God. And we're seeing the following at the same time as we are approaching solar eclipse. Breaking. CIA warns Israel of imminent Iran attack in the next 48 hours. So, apparently Israel is on a warning here from CIA that they might an attack from Iran within the next 48 hours. So by April the 5th, three days before the solar eclipse, three day warning, very interesting. Something happens by April 5th or up to solar eclipse because we are seeing as a sign of judgment. And if Israel is attacked by Iran, that could escalate so quickly that we're going to see a major thing happening in the world. So the reason why they are doing this is because Iran wants to punish Israel for killing one of these commanders. And apparently this happened here around April the 1st. So they are doing this in a retaliation or trying to retaliate for this here. And that's why they are being warned an attack could happen within 48 hours. So we're approaching the solar eclipse very fast and we're seeing turmoils of war with Israel. And we saw also a major earthquake on Taiwan, which shows important Asia market there. Golden D also. And we're seeing major development happening in the world, developing coming judgment that's going to happen in the world. The solar eclipse is a major, major sign. Everybody's talking about this. I have the Facebook W Tram. I love his posts here. He talks a lot about the eclipse and uh, basically puts out everything that's connecting the solar eclipse to major warning sign judgment. A very good compilation here. He will also with Aaron from God a minute. We're talking about the eclipse for a long time here already, and very interesting the confirmations that we have here towards this. PW train on Facebook or God a minute. Oops. Talking about that. Very interesting. Now going back here, we see that we are about to enter the harvest time for the church, so we can expect something to happen 
by the solar eclipse, on the solar eclipse, or a few days after, all the way until Passover, is a very, very strong time frame for us to watch, especially because we have been all this convergence to Esther, we had gone through Purim, now there's only this of New Year's Eve thing for us, where the trumpet will sound until the month of Esther. And I, I know that Dr. Barry All also talked about how Esther entered King's Supper on 117 on the day of his resurrection. So, 26th, if I believe, of April. That's a very interesting date as well. Of course, expect something from Esther. Now that I've talked about this, possibilities that we have, I'm going to give you guys some updates that, that what happened to me for the past these two weeks. So, as you guys know, I did this surgery with the gallbladder because it was inflamed and what I had was necessary for me to do this. But after the surgery, fortunately, I call this dengue fever. Awful disease that I don't wish on anybody to have this. Little bite, transmit this. We are still here, my country here, going through. The worst outbreak of the ever, and unfortunately, I was one of the people who caught it. it. Was terrible. Sometimes I felt like I wasn't going to make it through. Awful, my body hurting all over. I was having hard times to walk, hard times to eat. I couldn't eat at all. And it was very hard, very, very hard. But by the last weekend here, I was getting better, surviving the situation. I'm very glad it wasn't my time yet. Very thankful for all the prayers you guys did. It was the worst this go through. Meanwhile, the Tito Haziel learned how to walk. That's He's trying to do his first steps here. I recorded. You see here, trying to do first steps. He was falling a lot, but he was being persistent. And eventually, he was able to walk, and now he's walking all over. So that's him right now. Able to sustain the walk pace without falling over. And now he walks heavier already. But it's very interesting to see how this happened so quickly. One time he was always falling, but now he's just walking normal. Back. And the little girl, Hava, picture of her with 37 weeks, that was last week. Now we can expect her to be born on this earth anytime this week or the following week. Next week is the 40, 40th week, so that's Expect her to come on Earth this or the following. So, all video ah, of, of her face before the ultrasound. Ah, mm -hmm. Ready? Coming. Anytime between now or next. And you can expect to meet her very, very soon. I believe that we'll probably be born before the solar eclipse, but up to the 14th of April, that's when. But I'm very thankful for all you guys' prayers, all you guys' help, support. I have been going through very hard times, but fortunately, God has us all of this with Him. Very glad that we are here able to see the stories, able to see the signs here, get ready for this coming rapture of the church that we have been expecting and watching for the past seven years. And now we're seeing the very end of it. Major virgins of signs all over the world, all of the planets pointing church. The solar eclipse pointing dreadful 
Judgment coming to Earth. And you're seeing also here world in turmoil. We're about to enter into war. Earthquakes getting bigger, stronger. Also, we're seeing the world is ready for us in order for them to bring their false mystery forward. And that's why so they are talking about aliens all the time on the news, on TV shows. This video here. So I'm very glad that you are here watching with us. Pay attention to the next few days because we are seeing a pattern of judgment coming towards the world. And we can escape this judgment or even the sign judgment, solar eclipse within the solar eclipse or we can escape after it because Passover is going to be very very strong here lining perfectly the number of the church to the date of the pact for the future September 23rd and very very thankful for all of you guys having praying with me watching with me but we all have one another. I read your comments every time that I can. It was very hard for me last week. Thing, but always read the comments. Always uh, receive from you guys. Prayer, the love, what you guys do to me, family. All of those brothers and sisters in Brazil. Also watching the videos in English that you guys Very, very thankful. Everybody. Are here with us you guys are truly our eternal family and wait to be all of you guys very shortly it's the year that we are approaching very fast our escape amen Maranatha, god bless each and every one of you hope to see you guys very very shortly of god or the next go something major develop polar eclipse Israel is already talking about prepared for kind of attack. And Maranatha, guys. It's very.